the, the long-term outcome studies certainly don't demonstrate that. What do you think it means to be a man? Yeah, but why read the, read any of the studies on this? And there's and it's and again it sucks because there's so much interesting stuff to talk about here. What she said is true is when the woman out earns the man, there is a higher rate of divorce. But in those relationships, well, now that stat doesn't apply to you as much, right? It does matter. You have to. You've got to figure out where these numbers come from, guys. Come on, are you serious? We'll be on the oh, she must have gotten kicked off. That is true. I need to hammer that next time. Over the last year or so, I have seen a lot of comments talking about how swiping through YouTube shorts will inevitably lead you to the Jordan Petersons, the Andrew Tates, and the other wild boys of internet for dudes. So today, we're going to look at some examples and check them out. If someone breaks into my home, my job, right, I'm the protector, is mm -hmm. my wife and my daughter know exactly what to do. My wife gets my daughter, she's calling 911. I'm either standing at the top of the steps or I'm going down to go to work. And I'm gonna go down and go to work because that's my house and I work hard for it. Wait, is he saying he's gonna go to work? Like he's gonna walk down? I hate that like, I'm sorry, but like no offense, but like when it comes to like a test of like being a man or a good person, this shit about like defending yourself against like burglars and rapists and murderers of like your women that you own in your life is so fucking cringe. It's the equivalent of like gun owners that are like, it's like pretending like there's a zombie apocalypse right on the corner. Like bro, like, there's so many things in life that you've got to deal with that you have to, like, navigate through that are going to be challenges for you. And it's not, like, the ultimate test of a man is not, like, if a criminal comes in, am I a good enough kickboxer to fight him off? Like, that's so, it's such a cringe, like, fantastic ideation of the types of struggles you'll have to go through in life. It's so stupid. I don't know. I just think it's super cringe. Stairs, walk past the home invader, get in his car and drive to his podcast studio, which is what I assume he does for work. That would be a funny plot twist, but I think he means go to work as in violently destroy the invader. <laughs> My son's there. When he's little, he would be with mom. As he gets older, he's 28 years old right now. His role changes. I will have him at the top of the stairs, right, at that choke point with a gun, holding holding that line so no one comes up if something were to happen to me as I go down and clear that house. <laughs> Calling your bedroom hallway a choke point. It is cool and normal to live your life like you're playing Call of Duty all the time. Step back, son, while I tactically insert myself into this burglar until he's gone forever. I'm gonna go down and go to work because that's my house and I work hard for it. I have nothing against like self-defense and home defense, you know, whatever you gotta do to keep your place safe. But there's absolutely this fetishized, violent right-wing fantasy of finally being able to crack your knuckles and pull out your bazooka and blast your Amazon package delivery man to smithereens because he rang your doorbell one too many times. It is very funny to me and it is very silly. As he Does this work? Progresses and gets older, and I grow. If I've right? I become like the this? old warrior, seventy or eighty years old. Then it's his job, his responsibility to step up and take my place. I'm sorry, the old, the old the warrior. Old warrior. <laughs> Nothing quite screams watchful protector, ancient warrior like a skin tight Lacoste V neck and matching skin tight H and M stretch jeans. This literally could be like body paint. You know how people paint onto their skin to make it look like they're wearing. Maybe these guys come from different environments where these things matter. Bruv, if you're doing fucking podcasting for a living, no. There's no way this works, right? Like this, these are gonna be overlapping. This will penalize me, won't it? Do you think? Oh, actually I won't even be able to get fluids into my engine, so it doesn't matter. In clothes, but they're actually naked. This could be that. And this is not me checking his masculinity for wearing tight clothes, you know, not at all. I just feel like in order to be a warrior, you need blood circulation to your um, extremities. That would help. If you're a man born in a woman's body, that's biologically determined. But if you're a woman born in a woman's body, that's socially constructed. It's like, okay. Good luck with that theory. Good luck with that theory. Good luck with that theory, buddy boy. JP's got some real snark. So what's going on here is he's presenting a false dichotomy, right? Where gender being a social construct somehow contradicts the fact that gender dysphoria through the medical community has proven treatments, things that help people live fuller, healthier lives. There's really only a contradiction there if you, if you make one up and if you're not really, if you're not being honest. I don't believe you can be a man born in a woman's body or a woman born in a man's body. What I believe is that there are some people who feel alienation towards their bodies and they want to remove well, body parts. Well, everybody feels that. Right, but they feel it to such an extent that the best, clinically, the best treatment for them is to transition and live as if they were the other Yeah, sex. well, I don't think that there's any evidence that that's clinically the best treatment. We certainly don't know enough to make that presupposition, and I think we're playing with fire, assuming that that's the case. 
the, the long-term outcome studies certainly don't demonstrate that. Yeah, so he's just lying there, uh, just straight up lying. If he's familiar with the literature, he's lying. If he's not familiar with the literature, he's just talking out of his butt cheeks. <laughs> I'll link some stuff. What does it think, what do you think it means to be a man? So something, we'll talk about this. Um, we'll talk about this more when I'm done with Factorio because I've, I've got so many thoughts. I've got so many thoughts in my head about things. Um, ever since the, so this is something, this is how I used to analyze these questions. And after the post Wittgenstein era, and when I say Wittgenstein era, I mean the four paragraphs I read and people that emailed me about it. Um, I used to think like, okay, well, what is a man? Well, what are things that make a man a man? Um, it could be primary and secondary sexual characteristics. So things like a dick, things like your body maturing through puberty. It could be social roles. It could be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's, that, that would be like how I would investigate these things typically. And then I would try to um, figure out like what is the most consistent answer that works from moment to moment through life. And that, that, that would be how I would do it, right? So if you would ask me um, maybe like a year ago, like what is a man? I would say that like, um, it seems like depending on, character, on, on, on context, like man either is talking about a specific set of biological characteristics um, that are exemplified by usually chromosomes, usually primary, secondary sexual characteristics, or in a social setting, uh, man is usually uh, something that presents as something and then has like a certain set of behaviors um, and a certain set of features. Uh, so behaviors might be uh, having a deep voice, talking, well, deep voice, maybe like a style of talking, I would say. Men talk differently than women. A style of approaching social situations, a way of presenting yourself in your body and an appearance, fashion and everything, right? Um, Something that I think of more now, when I think of questions like that, like what is a man, what is, I try to assume, now I, I did, actually you saw me do this live in that conversation with that, um, with the, uh, oh actually you saw me do both types of things with the Ayala chick. When she asked me, if you fuck a prostitute and then you don't pay her, is it rape or is it just theft? Um, now when I think about things, what I try to instead analyze, is I try to back up and I try to think, how do people use these words and in the context that they use them, what is like the family of associations that they're drawing from? And I'll start, wait, call. Um, you ended saying, how do people use these words and in the context they use them, what are the, oh yeah, that's usually what I think of when I think of new words now. Uh, I, I try to start from an assumption that the word is probably insufficient to describe the concept. And so I just try to think around like what the word means. I've done that a lot recently. I've, thought, I've been thinking a lot about, um, I've been thinking a lot about, um, art and what art means and everything. And I think trying to nail down like, oh, definition of art is defined as X, Y, Z is probably not a good way to do it. I think it's better to just ask a lot of questions to try to hone in on the concept, right? It's like if, a, if I saw a robot draw a piece of art, what I consider art, if something happened at random, what I consider it art, if an alien, if an ant did something that was pretty, would it be art? Like asking these types of questions, I think, is like a better way to, um, to try to approximate like what, um, to, to try to approximate what the words are getting at, yeah. But I think that st starting from a starting from a place of assuming the language is insufficient, I think helps to get your mind in a better state to investigate certain terms. Sorry, that's usually what I think of, yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, hold on, I got food, I'm gonna watch this. Studies and description about this. Well, it's frustrating about clips like this with this orchestral epic own situation going on. Is a lot of people come away with just the objectively wrong conclusion about how this treatment works and what's actually going on, which leads into that sort of bigotry that says that being trans is a mental illness, that affirming identity is somehow harmful, which is just not the case. Like comments like this. Yeah, right. The best treatment when they have the highest suicidal case after the treatment. Me when I just lie <laughs> and 6.4 thousand people lie. Like it. You really need to distinguish between artistry, art, artist, and artworks in these stupid convos. Art is a catch-all term, and the person talking about it as a language had the right idea. Oh, maybe, yeah. Um, yeah, you can. And, like, some of those words might not even necessarily, like, like, a non-artist can probably make art, or maybe, or maybe anybody that makes art is then considered retroactively an artist. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a complicated category of things, but... <clears throat> today's sponsor, which is HelloFresh. One of my goals for this upcoming year was to eat better, healthier food and pay less for it. And HelloFresh is a great way to do just that. There are over 35. I think when I um, when I started thinking about it, it feels like, um, I could probably spend a lot more time writing things down. Um, when I started thinking about it, I feel like broadly speaking, I think art, it's a singular word, 
but I think that it can probably be broken down into two really big pieces. And one has to do with the creation of it, and the second has to do with the uh, interpretation of it or the consumption of it. And I don't know if both of these are required or if either one can be both, um, or, or if either one on its own can be sufficient. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting things to think about. Pisco, you have like no desire to participate in the conversation. You're just like so fucking debate brain rattled in chat. Like it's not meaningless words. It's definition of wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Like I'm just, I'm just talking, dude. Chill. I'm literally just, I'm just like word vomiting some thoughts. Okay. I know you're like really, 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 like horny to like. You said it was meaningless. It is not. Some definitions are wrong. It's not meaningless. Like, dog, chill. It's okay. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> you're okay. <clears throat> Why the creation though? Um, it feels like the. Uh, it feels like the creation of a certain thing, like as art or not as art, it feels like it would go to um, changing our interpretation of whether or not something is art or not art. It feels like it. Like if somebody were to make something that was incredibly beautiful, but they weren't trying to be artistic, like is it art? Maybe. If somebody's trying to make something artistic, even if it's not beautiful, we'd probably still consider it art, I think. But um, all of it is like, <clears throat> it's all very fuzzy. And not fuzzy in the sense that it's like, here is like, this is like a normal term. And this is like a fuzzy term, where it's like fuzzy at just the edges. It's fuzzy like this type of fuzzy, <laughs> where it's like very hard to say. I don't know. Tasty recipes to choose from each week, which Thank is you. awesome, especially with their carb smart and calorie smart options. Oh my you God. can even customize meals by swapping out proteins or sides, Crazy. upgrading proteins, or adding protein to veggie dishes. HelloFresh sent me over a box with three pretty big meals in it, and I decided to prepare for you all and myself. Don't you determine what is art or not before you know anything about the artist that made it? Yeah, but see, that's like the interesting question, right? So we go back to like, what is a man? Conservatives are very keen to say, well, men have dick. Men have XY or uh, yeah XY chromosomes. That's a man, and it's like okay, that could be a definition, sure. But when you see men in public, do you ever verify either of those things? You don't. Now you can make an assumption about them, like well, I'm assuming he's got a dick. I'm assuming he has XY chromosomes, right? <clears throat> but if you have to assume a trait, it almost seems like it's not even going into what the category is at that point, right? Well, I know that these people are men and women. Well, do you? If you, do, if you don't, if you never verify any of those traits, and if they don't seem to be influencing whether or not you determine if something is a man or a woman, because you don't genital check everybody you walk up to, or maybe some of you do, then it seems like, to me, that answer is unsatisfying, right? It doesn't seem like that. that is the answer. Oh, well, what is a man? Somebody that's a dick. What's a woman saying? It doesn't, right? So, I don't know. <clears throat> Um, why did I compare that to art? Um, for the art thing, oh, because the creation and the interpretation of it. Like, if I show you a beautiful piece of art, and you're like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. And then I tell you, like, oh, well, it was actually just completely made at random because a bucket fell out of the sky and this is the pattern that came out. Would you say that it's not art at that point, or does it become art when it's consumed by you, you know? That's why I'm saying that word art is like, I think that art, like I said, I start from a, I start from a place of the language is probably insufficient, and the, the word art can just mean so many different things. Like, that's why I said before, it's like really hard to say like, this isn't art. Like, really? It seems like it only takes one person to say something could be art for it to be art. And now like, where are you at, you know? The squash agnolotti with bacon and scallops. It was super easy to make. The boxes come with recipe cards and all the ingredients you need to make the meals. And it turned out very tasty. And I even had a, a lot of leftovers. I've never been a super cooking kind of guy, but I want to be. And HelloFresh made it easy to take that step. I am actually pretty happy with this experience and I'm excited to try more recipes and improve my cooking swag. Use my link in the description or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGNOAJAN21 for 21 free meals and free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count the purchases. Thanks again to HelloFresh, and now let's get back to the video. This woman, she already had some- Skip the ad. Bro, I'm already watching his fucking shit on my channel. Why the fuck would I not give his ad time? What do you mean?
some kind of masculine features, like deeper voice, deeper whatever. She decided to be a man because she wanted to see how men were treated, not sex change, an experiment. She ended up killing herself after like a year and a half of this because she said she was treated so horribly by women that she couldn't even believe that this is how men lived. Okay, so the person she's talking I think I've even repeated this before and I've heard this settle up. <clears throat> I feel like there's no way this is true. <laughs> I feel like that couldn't be the case, but maybe. I was called Nora Vincent, she was an author and an LA Times columnist. It's not really clear based on her writings that the story that's being told by this podcaster is true. That the reason for her medically assisted suicide was her experience living as a man because she dealt with a lot of other mental illness stuff, it seems like. I think one of the conclusions in this article about her is, is very interesting. She was suffering, she wrote, for the same reason that many of the men she met were suffering, their assigned gender roles, she found, were suffocating them and alienating them from themselves. I did read an article one time that was really interesting that profiled a group of trans men's experiences before and after transition and how there are real social stigmas that men face that they, you know, before transitioning didn't experience. And it's really interesting, you know? And so stories like that are somewhat touched on by this YouTube short where the woman is talking about the difference in treatment, the expectation that men are supposed to be stoic and strong and not, you know, share their feelings. But then the conclusion of the video kind of like blames feminism. You want to support us, you want to be there for us, but you guys are supposed to be, you're supposed to be the strong one. Yeah. You're supposed to be these things and yet we've been fighting to be your equal, fighting to be the alpha, fighting to be, and out of kindness you guys are stepping back, but it's a losing war for both of us. She's like, oh, women are all trying to be so alpha these days and stepping up and men are just stepping back and saying, oh, I'm not gonna say anything. Oh. But that doesn't have to come with men uh, sharing how they feel. I think it's actually probably the opposite. That the bog standard patriarchal expectation is that you're supposed to not share your feelings. And moving away from that is good for everybody, you know? I don't know. Um, I'll be honest, man. When men and women aren't equal. I'm sorry if that hurts your little stupid ears. <laughs> Oh, fuck, it hurts my smells. Oh, I'm so triggered. Oh. <clears throat> I think the one comedy trope that triggers me more than anything is whenever somebody's like, I know this is going to upset some of you, and then proceeds to give the least brave take in the world. It's like, bruv, shut the fuck up. I know this is going to upset some of you, but... Men and women are different. Uh, like, oh my God, he's so fucking brave. Holy shit, get this guy a fucking medal. Uh, come on, dude. Wow. 660,000 likes for a joke. It's been told so many times, you should be banned from comedy for life for doing it. it triggered liberals, all I'm hearing is cry, baby. Eh. We're not, we're not equal. Cause equal means the word same. We're not the same. In fact, that's my favorite thing about a woman, is that she's not a dude. My favorite thing about you, girl, is that you're not a dude, because that would mean I would be gay, and I'm not gay. <laughs> How flattering of a compliment to be a woman and hear that. Wow. It's every girl's dream, really. People try to make it, oh, we, 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 are, we're equal, we're the, I want it to be equalized. No, you don't. When any one of you got a babysitter tonight, how many of you picked a dude? None of you! Not because you're sexist, but because you're not dumb. What does that even mean? the baby would fall off the balcony and... <laughs> You'd be like, why was the baby on the balcony? He's like, I don't know, I came out to smoke and you're like... <laughs> Weird, uh, okay. strange gender expectation there that, that guys can't be good babysitters. It's the same thing that says, like, guys can't be good fathers, because they all, oh, he's too busy on the grill and watching football, he's gonna fumble his baby or whatever. <laughs> Men are actually biologically incapable of being caring and responsible, and that's a value I uphold and I think is good to impart upon other people. <laughs> all my boy babysitters in the comments, shout out. Uh, let me know what's good. I don't know, man. Gender humor is just... It's what about Jake Paul being a boxer? People saying he's not a YouTuber. At what point did he become a boxer? And what constitutes a boxer? Jake Paul is a boxer because he's one of the best boxers of all time. What are you talking about? That's an easy one. It's really just not my thing. It just, it just gets old so quick, you know? Especially the random dig at trans men, right? Quit <laughs> pretending we're the same. I don't walk around. I could have a baby if they'd let me. I can't. 
Like, yes, men can get pregnant. Tra trans men are a thing. That's, it's really not that complicated. Literally zero, no, person is trying to say that a cis man can get pregnant. That's not what, nobody's saying that. When common sense is refreshing, society is failing. <laughs> I love these so much. Let that sink in, let that sink in. This is what's wrong with modern society. Where does this guy get his like drum and bass shit at? I think that's what this is, right? It's in rocket. <laughs> Did you know that women leave men 80% of the time? And if they're college educated, it's 90. So I hate these. It's the same stats. Every single time I've had a red pillar in front of me and I push on this, they crumble. This whole like, women are mass divorcing men because they're trying to steal their money. Okay, 10% of people get alimony, okay? 50% of people get child support. The idea that you would marry a man and divorce him to steal his money is a fantasy most like how can you say that women are stealing from men like that and then the next breath say the median uh salary of a man is only like thirty nine thousand dollars okay well what the f money are they stealing then <laughs> bro you're not getting some sick alimony when your guys over here pulling doubles at wendy's what are you talking about like this whole god it's so evil and then also i'll say shit like this i remember i did this on fresh event once where i was like shouldn't the dream of every man be to find and date a single mother like, if a single mother is somebody that was in a relationship, got pregnant, scammed the man for child support, and stole half of his, half of his assets, seems like single moms are the shit. I want to find a girl where I can cuck the guy because he's paying for our fucking lifestyle. That sounds like the best shit in the world. Like, but it's like, it's, all of it is so stupid. Fuck me, dude. It's so dumb. So if you get divorced, <clears throat> it's 80% of the time, like, the woman leaves. And one of the number one predictors of a divorce is actually if the woman out earns the man. Yeah, but why? Read the, read any of the studies on this. And there's and it's and again, it sucks because there's so much interesting stuff to talk about here. What she said is true is when the woman out earns the man, there is a higher rate of divorce. But in those relationships, it's reported that the woman is working more than the man, and she still does more housework than the man. So she's contributing more to the job, and she's still taking care of the house. If that's the case, it's not really that surprising that the, the divorce rates are going to be fucking higher, right? But that's an interesting conversation. Why don't men do as much housework? Do they feel emasculated? Do they feel shitty? Are they just not trained as well to do housework? Does the woman, you know, superimpose and demand to do the housework? There's interesting conversation to be had with it. But there's none. This is thought terminating. All of these studies that the red pill people cite are thought terminating. I'm going to spit out one number that I don't know the study it came from, the context it's for, or the explanation for why it is the way that it is, and now we're done having the conversation. Like, I've just proven some massive fucking point. Ugh. Oh, I love that. I yeah. actually love that. I can't lie. I you love, love that? You don't I think that's that. kind of... No, I'm like, girl, you you go get that. You it, go get a if, man and, like, yeah, you go get that. Like, Really? Yeah. Like, why, why is there, like, a lack of empathy for Ben? It's like, not a lack of empathy. It's but but there is, because, like, they're they're breaking up a family, a lifelong commitment and a home, and your 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 reaction is, you go, like, go get that, go get the bag, sis, or, like, I'm so happy for you. When that's actually a really, like, that's a sad situation. Like, I think one of the things that I noticed, she did this with me, and she, I don't know if this is, like, a speech tick of hers or what, but I hate how often... She's like, I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking questions. Like, why are black people's craniums shaped in such a way that makes them warriors? I'm just asking. Like, what about, like, do you think that black people are more aggressive? By the way, there's a study that says they're more aggressive. I'm just asking. She does this so much and it drives me insane. Oh my God. You. The first issue with the framing that's being presented here is that the statistics about who initiates split ups somehow indicate who is to blame responsible, and yes, who is making the wrong decision, yeah, uh, for the relationship. It's always wrong for a woman to break up with a man, like that's just it's that's like the assumed in red pill technology because men can do no wrong, right? The woman is breaking up with a man, it's always the fault of the woman, she's doing something wrong, you should never be breaking up with your man, like it's such a stupid f assumption. Doesn't even get into any of the reasons why a woman might initiate split ups at a higher percentage than men. One of the biggest reasons is a disparity in the willingness to be a caregiver. Oh, what a nice job. Copying destiny takes. Good one, Noah. Okay. <laughs> we see you in chat. Okay. We see you out here copying my shit spend time facilitating a family. And this is just very well documented throughout history. Or like cheating, because men statistically cheat more than women. What's also misconstrued here is the reasons why a woman leaving a man because she is more financially flexible can be seen as a good thing because for so long, financial dependence on a man, which is again, socially constructed based on how work and gender roles play out, meant that you really, you really couldn't. You didn't have the agency to leave if that was the right thing to do. And like, I don't know what the percentage of just breakups is but I do know sometimes things just don't work out for people and holding it against every woman in the world is just a little cringe. Know, it's kind of cringe of boys in their little muscle shirts men are not meant to be dominant men are meant to be submissive
Life's too short to exercise. I'm just going to be honest. There are so many better things to do than exercise. It's about when you do that and there's like muscles there, nobody cares about that. <laughs> it hurts me to see how corrupted you are. <laughs> can cry you so it's okay to be weak it is okay to be fat you don't okay again okay i'm trying to be really nice right now because i just ate so now i'm in a good mood okay we have to be a little bit smarter okay destiny the point isn't men do no wrong the point is women divorcing men 80 percent of the time means men have much less control on the marriage ending compared to women you don't know that you don't because you, in order to know that you would have to get into the reasons why women divorce. What if it was the case that women divorced 80% of the time and in 100% of those divorces, it was because the man started shitting himself in bed every single morning? If that was the case, would you blame the women for divorcing? Would you say the men have no control over the marriage ending? That's not true, right? You have to investigate. You have to ask another question. Just showing that women divorce more doesn't show who's got more control of the relationship ending. You have to go to the next step and say, why are they divorcing more? Now, if the answer was like they divorce more because they're seeking men that earn more money or something like that, then sure, that could be a valid reason. They're saying, okay, well, men have less control here or something like that. That could be a reason, right? But <clears throat> yes, she should have bought diapers and wipes. True. You work out strictly for appearance-based reasons, you are fat phobic. On some individual level, wouldn't you recommend a man never marry someone that earns more since the rate of divorce for that is 80%? You have to, no, you have to analyze why the divorces are and, and what you can do about it, right? Like... <clears throat> Some people are built for unconventional lifestyles. Other people aren't. If there's a reason why people divorce for a certain thing and you feel like that's not gonna apply to you or you've got experience and it doesn't apply to you, then go for it. But it just depends. Fuck, I don't know anything at all about fucking basketball, okay? And then somebody made some argument on lay Reddit where they were like, if Michael Jordan was alive today, he'd be the best basketball player ever. And I'm like, this sounds like you're just jerking off some random dude from the past, I guess. I don't know. I don't know fuck all about basketball. And then somebody linked this like fucking 10 minute streamable of fucking Michael Jordan. And it was the fucking, it was the most hype shit I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm on, I am on board. With the Michael Jordan would dominate the game today. God damn, that was a. I don't know if anybody knows the stream I'm talking about. I watched the whole thing from start to finish. I was like, God damn. Oh, but I, yeah, I don't. I still don't know much about basketball, but holy shit. <clears throat> There's a reason they said he could fly. True. Is he dead? No, but he doesn't play anymore. This is sort of a classic aesthetic method over here in the baby bully manosphere, which is presenting a warped view of society or its values based on viral clips of the most extreme representations of like anti-fat phobia arguments, stripped of the context and nuance that is required. Wait, Destiny finds that you can make short videos of anything look really cool? Wrong! I've never seen a cool soccer video compilation in my entire fucking life, okay? in a lot of conversations about things like fat phobia and then immediately cutting to some clips of destiny you're acting like the stat is irrelevant because they don't know the reasons if someone is trying to assess the risk of marriage in the united states that stat is important no it's not what if you investigate and you find the reasons are in 80 percent of relationships women divorce men um what if you find out that the number one cited reason is because the men are below are below six foot two and let's say you're six foot three well now that stat doesn't apply to you as much right It does matter. You have to, you've got to figure out where these numbers come from, guys. Come on, are you serious? Dude's getting pumped up at the gym. <laughs> and they're like, this is what they want to take from you. They want to get you out of the gym and all up on them damn genders. But it's like, what structural element of society that has any power whatsoever is, is pushing any of the stuff that they play at the start, right? It's Nico Cotto avocado clips. There's th someone that people just will never stop talking about how what he is doing is bad. Like I'm all for a little gym motivation, right? Below what? Wait, what did I say? Below what? I don't know what I said because it apparently lagged.
I don't know why YouTube is like, I still have no dropped frames. I don't know if this is something I need to look into or I have no idea if other YouTube streams lag. I don't know if you guys watch other streams on YouTube, but what was that MJ streamable thread name on it? I don't remember. It was just, um, it was like a five to 10 minute streamable thing I was linked of like Michael Jordan playing. And it was just so fucking hype. God, it was so fucking hype. But I don't remember what it was called or what it was about or what the context was. I just know somebody linked it. How long ago did you see the threat? I might have linked the streamable in chat. I don't know if I, I might have shared it in chat, in offline chat. Andrew Tate is Aiden Ross listed as the only non-family member out of five potential visitors. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know why. But why does it have to be a little bit fascist, you know? I don't know. It seems not great. Oh, here we go. We may as well finish it out with a quick FNF classic. We love, we love. We don't like it, actually. I see a whole bunch of empty fingers with no ring fingers. So what y'all need to keep a woman? Like, oh, being married oh, is not. So are, oh, you oh, are you gonna shut up when we finish? One thing about this show is oh, half of it is the guys in the room telling the women to shut up true. and let them finish, but then they just go on and say the dumbest shit imaginable. Let's just oh, let's play. Are you gonna shut up when we finish? <laughs> it is not a prize for a man to be married. It's like, hey guys, I got married. Right. Uh, most guys like. I got married. <laughs> That's uh, these guys have the worst takes on relationships. It's so triggering. The worst takes consistently on relationships. Anyone else hate their fucking wife? XD, XD. Anyone else hate their relationship? XD, XD. Failed integrity check. Wait, what are you failing on? Hold on. Oh, whole stress. Too many floors. Lots of negative empty. Oh, I can just put up more walls. I think. <laughs> well, a woman it was like, I got married. That's right. how you girls fight and claw each, claw each other's eyes out to catch the bouquet at right. weddings to see who's going to get married right. next. Back. <laughs> oh, no. I, oh, God, I love that. There's actually a biological imperative to catch the bouquet because that is the number one indicator of the next person to get married. We all know that. It's proven by science. Just yeah, to be clear, this conversa conversation started off of men like us, and that's what I laughed off of. I wouldn't want none of y'all to propose to me. That's why I laughed. We don't want you either. <laughs> You don't get men like I was time. I this wouldn't podcast, want nobody like you. And this is not to sound insulting, My, but no man I would want would podcast, be on that podcast. Oh, she must have gotten kicked off. That is true. I need to hammer that next time. Why the f aren't you guys married? True. This podcast is the only reason why you and I are in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these are so. These are Wasn't so that her point? Watch, man. Oh my God. I don't know what the context leading up to this, but ba I know that how this podcast goes, man. She probably made one little comment that damaged their fragile egos and they freaked the fuck out about it. Also, really no indication that this woman is a feminist. She's just usually feminist getting obliterated means, okay, there's, you're talking to a woman. And as we all know, feminism is for girls. That <laughs> is actually a common misconception. If you're wa if you're watching this and you like these YouTube shorts and you are wanting to sort of learn about it, feminism feminism's for everybody, you know. So just go Google it. The pinned comment with twenty six thousand likes. It says this lady talks like she decides which man will marry her. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. So what? does she just not have a say, or what? What is it? What are you trying to say here? Is this a pro arranged marriage only uh, YouTube channel? <laughs> oh shit! The biggest collab since Avengers and Fortnite. We got. Andrew Tate and JP on a split screen. Let's check this crap out. If we weaken men, then if they become weak enough, they'll no longer be a threat. And I argue that point absolutely. I think the most dangerous men on earth are the weak men. And if you look at men who have no emotional control, because that's what they're trying to teach us to have. They're saying, listen, you're a man, you're allowed to just cry all the time and have no emotional control, no True. stoicism. Just that's what I want you guys to do. You know cry what always. You tell men to just react to their emotions. Anger. You have school shootings. Weak is not good. Wait, what? Wait a second, what? Hold on. The guys who express their emotions and, and let them out and don't pen them up are the ones doing the violence? I, what? Another little tricky little conflation there between emotional health and emotional control. Emotional health being somehow indicative of instability with your- Fix your shit. I, okay, hold on. I'm curious, let's pull. Vote, are you getting lag spurts? Yes or no? Let's see how many people are getting lag and how many aren't. I'm curious. Damn. So 80% of you are, 20% aren't. I wonder in YouTube chat. It's momentary blips of the screen where the screen goes black. 
It feels like a bug with the embed? Yeah, well, let's find out. Engage with your audience. Start a poll. <clears throat> Do you get lag spurts? Yes or no? Ask your community. In YouTube, it is 70-30. Huh. Similar to DGG chat. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. You guys can go look at other streams and see if they're having like little lag things too. Maybe region-based? If it's 70% of people having problems, region-based seems... Not true, but <clears throat> your emotions an inability to not react to them. The most dangerous man in the world is a weak man, the man who is a, not a threat. And those are actually the biggest threat because they're the ones doing a lot of violence. Very smart. School shootings. Weak is not good. The people who shoot up the high schools, they're weak. You have rape, you have violence. That's what happens when you tell men to have no emotional control. And life is a very difficult process. You're not prepared for it unless you have the capacity to be dangerous. Those who have swords and know how to use them but keep them sheathed will inherit the world. You have to be powerful and formidable what? and then peaceful in that order. And that's not the same as being naive and weak and harmless, which is what young men are being encouraged to be. We return, Based. as we were at the start, to the sort of right-wing violence fantasy. Sword and do guns and knives and being able to just sh having them sheathed but being able to chop a guy in half like an like it's anime <laughs> and i don't know man most of these guys just kind of like they're youtubers or podcasters <laughs> the most violence they'll ever experience is uh, like traffic on the way to their studio I mean, andrew tate was like a kickboxer right so i guess there's more of a claim to the control over violence but young teen boys watch that and they say that's so true i'm gonna apply this to my real life as though kickboxing or if violent sports are just that they're sports they're competitions not really great to implement into your daily life but at what point does the self-defense preparation become a gleeful excitedness to finally be able to use that shit and go and go nuts go to work <laughs> i'm gonna go down and go to work because that's my house and i work hard for it i don't know man just silly uh silly fun times over here on the tube.com i'm gonna probably end it here just remember to speak softly and carry a big Bazooka, laser gun, Spartan laser. That's how to be a real man, be the watchful protector, the vengeful guardian. If I ever get home invaded, I'm gonna just be a spooky critter in the corner going, <laughs> I think that's probably a better way to go because better to be spooky than to be violent or whatever. I don't know. Okay, and uh, see you guys later. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya. Was he gonna do a hit piece on Destiny? Uh, he was, but then he gave up. I don't know why. Probably because he realized I was too badass and he didn't want to risk it. He didn't want the Dally ban on his ass.